Ranking the best wide receivers by price in Madden 23. We're back here going over the best wide receiver at each price in Madden 23. And we're going to start all the way from free and go all the way up to an unlimited budget. Now we're going to talk about three receivers for free because I really think they're almost all on the same level. Some are easier to get than others. The first one right here is going to be the Compass Reward Equinamia St. Brown. He's 6'5", 98 speed, could be 99 with just a free agent track card. So once the Sugar Rush one leaves, you still got a 99 speed receiver. Has good route runnings across across the board and for abilities this time he can get zero ap deep out elite red zone threat route tech short in and short out so to me he's a short in short out receiver for one short out route tech for one either or is perfectly fine to me he's a top tier receiver in the game let's say hypothetically you're missing out on st brown you can also get this calvin for free if you're a high enough level in the field pass and i believe everyone can get up to this level relatively easily and calvin of course again free and track card 99 speed he is an amazing receiver in the game he's six foot five and also a pretty good run blocker as well helps him separate himself a little bit from the Pack. and he also gets every single team chem including legend so whatever theme team you run he fits it this time for his abilities he can get double me pre-lit or max security i don't know if it's justified running this given the 6 ap update but you can do it and pretty much this just makes him unpressable he will get he will get crazy instant wins with double me and double me versus ko's is literally a 50 50 dice roll in my opinion now besides the pre-lit x factor he can get deep out elite red zone threat short in short out and slot automatic for zero ap and i would run short in short out for one ap on him so so again, another just really great top end receiver in the game. And finally, if you couldn't get those two, you weren't a high enough level and also you can't do the comp pass. Keyshawn Johnson is also really, really good. You can get him by completing your team captain solos and he's up to a 98 overall. And with the free agent track card going to be 98 speed. Again, he is six foot four and he has good route runnings across the board. And again, a really good run blocker and he gets every single team chem. So if you run Sugar Rush track card and have like a 40 out of 50 theme team, 99 speed on your team. And once again, for abilities, he can get zero AP short and elite and also one AP short out. So again, short in, short out for one AP. I feel like I kind of had a slight cop out with the free option, but there's just so many good free options you can get right now. Now we're here with our first price and it's going to be 100K. If you're at 100K, it's a little bit rough. I'm honestly stuck between two cards. And the first card is going to be Herman Moore. So Herman Moore, six foot four, he's a taller receiver. And again, really good route runnings. The speed isn't really all the way there. He can be up to 97 with the Sugar Rush track card. And the reason why I put him here is because he can get short in and mid out for a one AP. And really just compared to everyone else, you're really looking at a 1 AP short in elite and really that's all I want to spend on receivers I want to spend 1 AP I really don't want to spend 2 AP on short in short out and that's going to bring me to my second receiver right here he is a little bit slower at this point but Steve Smith with 94 speed and again pretty good route runnings could be up to 96 sugar rush track card again it's not really great but he is someone that can get 0 AP short in elite so those would be my two options for 100k and the other option that I was between was Marquise Goodwin right here because he can get up to 99 speed with the sugar rush track card so he has the speed and that's the real big thing on him right and also he is someone that can get one ap short in the lead do you want the speed at this point or do you want better ap value so i could see you going see smith i can see you going herman more right here as well now we're bumping it on up to 200k and there are a lot of receivers that i think are on the same exact level right here and really the three i want to talk about adam thielen this chase claypool card right here and also antonio cromarty at wide receiver they're really all kind of the same to me like they are going to be 99 speed with the sugar rush track card they're going to get short in short out for one ap so for me i am just going so for me like i think they're all going to play around the same level but out of the bunch i would honestly say chase claypool is probably the best and the reason for that is he's slightly taller he's six foot four i think there's an argument to be made that smaller receivers can be better at times than taller receivers i i can get that argument but for me i do prefer the height and he can again be 99 speed with the sugar rush track card right now has really good route runnings across the board also had pretty good impact blocking which the other cards really didn't really have so he can actually be pretty decent in the run game and also once again he can get short out and short in for one a piece honestly after this receivers are kind of like i don't want to say the same but they're going to be doing like the same exact thing again like 99 speed good height short in short out for one ap now we're bumping on up to 300k and again there are so many good cards right here like we have keenan allen that gets every single team kim six foot two can be 99 speed and again he's someone that can get short in short out for one ap i think the two that i really want to mention though that i think can that can be like really really good for you Harold Carmichael I know he's not even 99 speed but does he even really need it he's six foot eight could be 98 speed again sugar rush track card I feel like this card just gets open and he makes some really crazy catches and for his abilities again right here he can get short out route tech for one but he is someone that can get short out route tech for one he cannot get a uh, short out and short in for one AP he gets short in for two but I still think short out route tech is still really really good and the other receiver I want to mention isn't even on this page like again there's a lot of good options right here 
here, but the one I would say is like really, really great. And actually I think got a lot better given the AP update is Scary Terry, AKA card right here. So he can be up to 99 speed again, Sugar Rush track card. He's six foot, so not as tall as the receivers we covered, but again, really good route runnings. And the reason why I said he got a lot better is because of the fact that he can get max security for zero, which is a pre-lit, which earlier in the video, when we were talking about Calvin, I was saying how Calvin can insta win versus press a lot of times given double me max security can do kind of the same thing as well and he is also someone that can go ahead and get short out short in for one ap or short out route tech for one so i'm a big time fan of this card and like i said i think he actually got a lot better given the ap update now we're bumping it on up to 400k right here and to be honest i don't think there is a clear upgrade over the cards we already covered but out of the bunch the one that I would run is definitely Chris Carter. Uh, Chris Carter has a huge player model. He's six foot three. Again, could be 99 speed with the free agent track card. Really good route runnings across the board. And once again, for his abilities this time, he can get short out and short in for one AP. And 500K is actually gonna be our first clear upgrade right here. And it's gonna be like this for a while. Um, I think there is a really good argument that this is the number three receiver in the game or number four. It's Amon St. Brown. Uh, I think this is one of the most slept on cards in the game. And I really don't understand why, especially after giving the AP update, because one of these game changer cards skyrocketed in price. This one didn't. He's still going for like 400K. And with the free agent track card can be 99 speed, has amazing route runnings. He's six foot and his abilities are ridiculous. So in this tier two spot right here, I would run short and elite tier three run deep out elite and finally in this uh, player specific one short out so that's short in short out and deep out for one ap he gets two zero ap ability spots and again i just really don't understand why like this card didn't skyrocket i would anticipate him doing it and this is an next level receiver compared to everyone else we covered i think there may be only be two receivers that are better than him maybe calvin really depends now bumping it on up to 600k I, I think there's some good receivers like jordan love and dk are really really good i just don't think they're better than amon Hussein brown like especially given AP value. And when we move it on up to 700K, I can say the same thing about uh, Dwight Clark right here. I got absolutely fried by this uh, Dwight Clark card. He was absolutely amazing and he's six foot four too. Uh, he's a really great receiver once again, just I, I'm taking a Monra St. Brown over him. And that's gonna take us to 900K right here. And that's gonna be Randy Moss. Randy Moss, in my opinion, is the second or the best receiver in the game. I can see the argument for either or. He's six foot four, could be 99 speed with a Sugar Rush track card, amazing route runnings and for his his abilities this time he's someone that comes pre-baked with zero ap deep out elite and also gets a uh, zero ap short out and once again he can get a uh, zero ap short in so again same exact ability stack as i'm on Rasane brown you could go zero ap route tech one ap short out really, really in my opinion it's preference again ridiculous ability stack and that's going to bring us to our unlimited budget right here it's going to be cd lamb of course cd lamb is going for like 860 on xbox 960 on playstation so basically a mil and i guess the reason he's higher than a uh, amon or St. brown is because he was an LTD. And this card again could be 99 speed free agent track card. He's six foot two, good route runnings across the board. Now for his abilities, the big thing on him is getting short out and also short in for zero AP. Probably the best slot receiver in the game. And yeah, y'all, this has been the best wide receivers by price in Madden 23. Let me know if you did enjoy this video down below in the comments. If you did, make sure to leave a like and subscribe to stay updated with the best cards in Madden 23. Now, if you want to see me use some of these cards live, check the links in the description, hit that Twitch with the follow. We've been grinding the streams over there, so I would greatly appreciate that. Now, if you don't like head over to twitch and you want another video to watch check this one out right here i use an ohio state theme team in madden 23